I did a test to better understand the mechanics of the ball launcher before working on the actual system for my tank. I used two MT-2204 motors, two ESCs 30A, controlled via Arduino. All systems are powered by 12V. I replaced the soccer ball with a 3D printed bullet. Has a length of 40 millimeters. Diameter is 10 millimeters. When a motor rotates clockwise, and the remaining motor rotates counterclockwise. The bullet will be inserted into the space between the two motors. When the bullet and the two motors collide, a large thrust will be created, causing the bullet to fly forward at a terrible speed. Okay, the test was successful. I have completely designed the artillery system for my tank. The main components worth noting here include the system of two main motors that provide kinetic energy for the bullet. The system pushes bullets from a position in the bullet chamber to the collision position with the rotation of the two motors, controlled by one MIGI-90 servo. This position on the right side includes an MG996R servo that helps simulate the recoil of the cannon when fired. Next is the position on the left. Another MG996R servo motor, but has been modified to increase torque. At the final output of this system, the torque reaches its maximum at 60 kilograms per centimeter. It supports the entire main gun system of the tank in an up and down direction. Actually. In the real-life version of the M1A2 Abrams, one bullet loader is needed to reload the tank, and of course it doesn't have an automatic loading system. So I tested some possible systems for this, and chose the most stable and simple system. And importantly, it can fit into the tank's turret, because I did not consider equipping my tank with an automatic loading system from the first design. So I also encountered some problems, but luckily I have overcome and perfected the automatic loading system for my tank. This automatic loading system includes two 28BYJ48A stepper motors. One MG90 servo is responsible for pushing bullets from the ammunition magazine to the ammunition chamber. The ammunition compartment can hold a maximum of 30 bullets. The entire system has a reload speed of 4.5 seconds for one complete bullet. Maximum rate of fire is 13 rounds per minute. Compared to the real-life version, it only has a maximum firing rate of 7 to 8 rounds per minute.